Welcome everyone, Questine here with the early access of Ultimate General American Revolution. The sequel, if you will, or the prequel to Ultimate General Civil War and of course get this part before that. Let us begin a new campaign. Is born to do something great. Every day they have a choice to take a step closer to their destination or to run away. I was the first child in the family. As the eldest child, I took on much of the responsibility for my younger brothers and sisters. At the age of 11, I lost my father, and the responsibility for all family affairs passed to me. Plantation management and financial matters became part of my daily routine. Okay, so I'm gonna go with spotting range. I spent my adolescence studying and managing the family's plantation. My mentor and older half brother, who was like a father to me, died during our trip to Barbados. His loss affected me greatly. At the age of 20, I was appointed commander of the Virginia militia, in part due to my organizational talents. Tensions over control of the Ohio River Valley eventually sparked the French and Indian War. I was able to apply my skilled management to help prepare my troops. We fought well, capturing several French forts, and in spite of some setbacks, we succeeded in driving out the French. My attempts to secure a commission in the army were thwarted by English officers with little respect for my abilities, so I decided to resign. My next steps were... Afterwards, I ran for and was elected to the Virginia House of Burgesses. In 1774, I was elected as a delegate to the First Continental Congress in Philadelphia. There I helped secure. Tensions with England have reached a breaking point. In the near future, a confrontation will break out, and I will have to use all my experience to fight for the independence of the colonies. Okay, and then you get difficulty settings. I'm going to play on normal. This is the kind of game where playing on normal, from my perspective, is probably the best experience. Though, keep in mind right now that the game is not balanced. They even mentioned this. So, uh, we'll see. Like they said, oh, don't be surprised if it's too hard because we haven't balanced it. Well, I guess that's a gone left road. Don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes. William Prescott at the Battle of Bunker Hill. Okay, we begin. I hire two regiments, one from Pennsylvania, one from Virginia, to support the Patriot Cards. I travel to Massachusetts with the two regiments eager to... Okay. Now, there's some... Uh, now, I turn off the music because copyright might be an issue. Anyway, we're going to go to Li uh, uh, Leicester. Okay, let's pause, actually, because we got orders to give. And now, I am going to start summoning militia. Let's uh, start getting them close to the front. So, when it comes to the, this... You have a regiment. Each regiment can have skirmishers, can have artillery, can have even cavalry, I imagine. Right now, we just have very, very basic stuff, right? Basically, it's like we don't have a real army. Um, so, I am going to add a bunch of... Should I add the skirmisher unit? Yeah, I think I will. Mm, maybe our numbers are more important. Anyway. So I'm also, okay, I can't build, so so much for the extra worship being relevant. Okay, let's add another uh, militia. Okay, let's take a look. So we got various maps, mining resources, supply network. So my supply network over there in Portsmouth uh, is probably not going to 
support training of more troops. So, oh, also. Wait, did I not hire? Uh... All right. We need to select an officer. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to cre uh, press that create button. So I'm gonna create another one. So militia units. And it is generally a good, oh. Yeah, that's kinda on me. Uh, that create button, so we need to, right? And each unit needs an officer. Okay. All right, so for the moment, we don't get anything other than... Then to those two regiments, we can customize it. Okay, go with stamina and efficiency, willpower and efficiency. So let's go with stamina. So those will be raised. Oh, dear. We got a naval battle coming in. All right. Concord and Lexington battle. Patriots have stored valuable military supplies in the small town of Concord. The British must have taken notice and now approach with significant force. Let's help defend them. So the war begins. All right, so the Battle of Concord, 19th of April, 1775. Let's begin. The British are attempting to advance to Concord and seize Patriots, stashed weapons, and ammo. The stashed weapons and ammunition, okay. We have reports, all right. So we need to hold them off. Now, the problem is they vastly outnumber me, and they actually have proper units. We have a bunch of militias. <laughs> We're not going to be able to stand up against the British uh, army in a head-to-head -head confrontation. So I need to delay them as much as possible. Especially because... Uh, let's see, can I save? No. Oh, well, can't save during the middle of battle. So you're going to just have to deal with the consequences of your actions. So I need to... Uh, okay. Here they come. Now, since this is early access, obviously that you can expect a lot of bugs and all that kind of stuff. So the British damned army uh, is advancing. There we go. The sound finally fixed, it, it fixed itself. All right, we, we're getting reinforcements. Not much. The real, the real thing to understand here is we just need to hold them for a while. Like, once that timer expires. Alright, here I come. Open fire, boys. Now, if they do a bayonet charge there, it's going to be GG pretty quickly. All right, they're charging in. Well, my militia are, uh, are routing, but the point is I wanted to buy time for reinforcements to arrive. That's why I chose that particular approach. The red coats are just gonna scatter everything and everyone that stands in, our, in their path there, isn't it? Because, like, basically, if I didn't fight there, what would have happened inevitably? Need more units.
All right. They got the proper general. All right. I just need to fall back. We got skirmishers mostly. Whereas they got line infantry. So let's skirmish. Fall back. The militia ain't gonna stand up against the British regulars, that's for damn certain. Alright, finally, we've routed something. Here come the line infantry militia units. Let's throw them into the fray. Just about buying time, right? And getting as many of the enemy units to follow through. Sure. They should break. They're under en enormous pressure. I'm gonna need to secure that flank. Alright, so they're breaking on that side. Will I get more reinforcements? Hopefully I will. Okay. My skirmishers there have been doing God's work in holding off that entire flank. More reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> like they, they've been holding off that entire section of the enemy army. So because of that, I've gotten myself... enough time alright that should push them back more reinforcements are arriving they may not hold but they'll hold for long enough All right, send in those reinforcements in. More Patriots and coming from all directions. The British are surrounded. <laughs> Oh, yes. Reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> it might be just a bunch of pioneers and farmers with a bunch of civilian muskets, but they are coming in large numbers. The horde has arrived.
All right, we need to get that ammo back. All right, form up a line there. We got it back. The British line should start breaking soon enough. The militia have sold their lives dearly for this victory. Here they come. Okay, gonna front line around here. And that's the Battle of Concord will be a victory. Charge in melee, run them down. They're breaking there. Now, skirmishers are not meant to be used in melee, but... Uh... Another unit captured. Huh. God bless those skirmisher on that flank. They held off so much of the British army when it was really needed. <laughs> There will be no survivors. <laughs> well, there will be, of course. In chains. So much for the fearsome reputation of the Redcoats. I think it was a bit exaggerated. For the glory of Massachusetts. <laughs> Alright, they're routing. And that would be about it, right? Now, where is their... Oh, supplies! Uh, don't mind if I do, actually. You're not getting away. Yep, we got the supplies. 
I could really use those. <laughs> so, yeah, so much for uh, the British Army. Let's fall back, though. In case they have some, like, uh, surprises in store for me. Their army has been wiped out, but you never know, right? What they're gonna throw. Against you. Alright, two seconds. Well, two in-game time units, whatever those represent. We have one. And glorious victory over here. We did lose more men, but uh, I've got to point out that <laughs> my guys were militia. Their guys are like actual, you know, you like actual trained units. Their guys are significantly more valuable than mine. Naval combat too. Okay, so basically what this game is, it's Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail with obviously a bigger focus on uh, land, uh, land battles. Okay. All right, let's try and do it. We're against the wind, so... USS Providence. It's a frigate, right? Don't know if I'm gonna win that. Alright, let's try. The wind is blowing in that direction, so let's try... Crossing the T, so to speak. Now we need to keep moving. That's how you avoid some of the damage. We're gonna take damage. That's not the... Shooting. Alright, so how many men do they have on that ship? We got 137. Okay, let's do this. Ships don't circle like that. Let's see who wins. Well, I did. Okay. Well, basically, treat this game as you would the uh, game of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail and uh, with bigger land battles, much bigger land battles, actually. 
Like, that battle I just fought at Concord was significantly bigger than, I think, any battle I fought in Ultimate Admiral. And you'll understand it very simp very easily. There. The game is too hard. Oh, shit. Uh, we need to... That's uh, not a good situation. I need to figure out... Can, we can I retreat, maybe? Because I would really like to retreat there. Okay. Well, we at least stopped their reinforcements. Not enough guns. What do you mean? Oh, not enough guns for artillery. Damn. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna need guns. <laughs> but we can get you make do with what we got. Anyway. That was just the appetizer. We're going to march on uh, Providence. Or maybe march directly on Boston. Do we have the forces for marching directly on Boston? I don't know. Quasi insignia.